guys, so I'm back by popular demand. Like, I haven't actually set up my little background, but I will. I just wanted to do this intro to tell you guys, I have not been feeling myself. Like, I have literally been feeling... I've literally just been hanging, like... I hate using the word depressed because I feel like it's such... Uh, I don't know, I feel like it's... I, I understand people get depressed, but I feel like... Me using the word depressed, I feel like it's so extreme for me. But I have been feeling quite low. I haven't been feeling like rock bottom. I use depressed as rock bottom, so I'm not really depressed. I've just been feeling really low. And with bipolar, um, it's like up and down. So like I, when I made the last video, I was in like my high stages. Like I was really, you know, talkative and loud and bubbly and I was doing all the memes and stuff but now I feel like I should do like a really chill video and I wanted to do it on coping mechanisms okay guys oh I feel like this angle is really bad like I look like I'm straining my neck so you can see my chin like I look like an actual bean okay give me like two seconds let me rearrange this setup so basically I'm trying to get my setup the same way as it was last time I don't think it's quite the same but you know, we'll do. Obviously, I changed the background. If you notice that you're a real G. Um, okay. So, yeah, I just put up my notes. Like, yeah, I'm such. I'm so unprepared. I need my notes. Okay, so guys, as I mentioned before, I'm going to be talking about coping mechanisms. And like I said before, like, I'm not in the best mood. So, I'm going to try and, you know, be as bubbly as I can. But if I'm just like, uh, like, and it's not the same energy as last time, I really do apologise, but there's just days where you just know, you know when you, it takes a little bit longer to be motivated. It takes a little bit longer to actually motivate yourself. And you don't feel like jumping out of bed in the morning, you feel like having a lie in every single day of that week. Or month, or whatever. That is literally how I feel, and I don't know when this mood's going to shift. But honestly, going outside helps a lot. So that's the first coping mechanism I'm going to talk about, going outside, like... Force yourself to go outside. Just go up, go for a walk. If you feel like you literally don't want to get out of bed, make an incentive for yourself. Be like, I'm going to go for a walk and get myself a Starbucks. I'm going to go for a walk and um, go for a... I don't know. Do something I've always wanted to do. Go for a skip. Go for... A, like, I literally... Like, when I go for skips, like, sometimes it takes me ages to motivate myself because I'm just like, oh, exercise. Do I want to be tired? at the end of my exercise. Sometimes it's like, no, I don't want to go outside. Like, I literally have arguments with my dad where he's like, go outside, it will release endorphins so you'll feel a lot better. And when I listen to him, when I'm in those moods, sorry, my focus is so out of... Yeah, when I listen to him, and I actually do listen to him and I go outside when I feel bad, like, it literally... I'm like, why didn't I listen sooner? Because I literally, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm buzzing and I want to get on with my day. I want to go home. I want to Because sometimes I don't feel like eating in the morning. I'm just like, is this normal? I don't even feel like eating. So when you exercise, you want to eat. You have to you cook up your meal. You feel good. And then you want to go out, for, like, you want to go, sh like, shopping for the things that you need. So, like, when I went skipping, I literally felt, okay, so before I went skipping, literally no energy. Go skipping. I motivated myself. I was like, I, in, in, like, I, okay, so I've got this thing where shopping makes me happy, like, even if it's for anything, I feel like I've made myself feel productive, and I don't know if it's to do with bipolar, but with bipolar, you do spend a lot of money, um, and when you're in your high mood, so, like, shopping for me is fun, like, for anything, like, I feel like I'm doing adult things when I go shopping, uh, for food, or if I go shopping for just essentials, like, toiletries, so when I went... So before I went skipping, I was like, oh, I can't be asked. Like, I really cannot be asked. And then when I um, actually went, or no, when I was in the process of being can't be asked, I was like, I need to get some toiletries. Let me go and get the toiletries. Um, and it helped that I got paid that day because I was feeling so low. I was like, I don't have no money. I'm broke. And I got paid. And then I was like, you know what? I'm happy now. Um, I should go for a skip. And I was like, oh, skip? really me skipping like i hate exercising um and then i was like but i do like skipping so i was like okay my incentive is i'm gonna go and get the toiletries that i need that i've needed and um after i go skipping so i was like 
um, I need to go outside anyway, might as well go skipping and do that. So that was a little incentive for me and I enjoyed my little skip, then I got on with my day, cooked when I got back after I went sh shopping and I had a good I had a good meal and I had a good day and I felt good and then I was, I was I was chill for the rest of the day, like I was in a good mood. These ads are so rude, like half the thing is ads and then like the small mini school bit is the actual background that I wanted, like I want to talk about that really helped me when I was like when I usually when I get out of hospital and I have to get back into routine I like to meditate or if I'm in hospital <clears throat> I like to meditate because it's such like an intense such an intense environment that you sometimes you just need to get away and get into your inner self tap into your inner self so this thing there's this app called Zen um, and you can get iOS and Android I believe and there's a calm app there's a there's an app called Calm, and I don't know if it's iOS and Android, but it should be iOS and Android. Yeah, they're both iOS and Android, I believe. So there's Zen and Calm. These two apps are very good, very very good. I can't stress it enough. They've helped me so much. I prefer I prefer them to Headspace. I know it's like some people like Headspace. There's another app called Headspace for meditation, but I don't like it because I feel like the voice is too harsh. So basically, it's with Zen, um, you can. It's the same as Calm, really. Well, it's not exactly the same. So let me explain. With Zen, with the Zen app, you um, can do sh stress relief, anxiety relief. Like they ask you what you want. Would you want to sleep better? Is it anxiety? Is it stress relief? Blah blah. blah. And I'll show you on the screen um, the little screenshot that I did of how it works. And like, if you don't understand what I'm saying, like if you don't understand my accent, it's Zen or how to explain it. Like it literally be on the screen. Um, so there's um, Zen and yeah it has like little things that you can do like guided meditation and it's really good like you can, oh it's so good and it helped it helped me to sleep a lot helped me to feel good in the mornings because you know in the morning you just want to listen to some calming music that has no lyrics that is just an escape and if you listen to a lot of music with lyrics to calm down I really do I really do um recommend you listen to music with no lyrics um, that is for meditation so there's actually a, pl a sp playlist on Spotify and if you put um, Zen music or relaxation music there's a, a literal there's a really good um, playlist and I'm going to screenshot it because I've completely forgotten the name I put it in this video um, so there's Zen there's that Spotify playlist and then the Calm app, so basically with Calm, um, you can um, listen to bedtime stories there, that's it. You can listen to bedtime stories, you can listen to meditation, you can listen to people's, like, they have, like, this thing where you can listen to, there was this one with LeBron James, and he was talking about um, winning and helping yourself and stuff like that so they have like little things that you can listen to like specific people talking and his voice was so soothing and it was lovely I listened to that, that was back in the day, they change it every so often I think and then um if you want to pay for it I think it's 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 like really good like it's probably about it's a certain price a year I haven't paid for it because like I don't know like I, I'm good with the free ones it's absolutely fine for me I like the bedtime stories that I listen to and I never finish them so it's whenever I listen to them it's always new to me because I don't use it that often but if you use it often I'd recommend paying because it's a really good price for calm I don't know about Zen um, but Zen has a lot of free things that you could tap into anyway without having to pay for it so I would I would pay for calm and leave the Zen up as free if you can't afford both I, that's my recommendation is find an escape like an escape from your normal life like escape um escape from your normal friends and escape from um your comfort zone mine is youtube like when i started my youtube channel i literally done it for fun and uh i still do it for fun because i don't get paid from it and i just love it i love it so much like hearing how I might have helped someone or getting a nice comment like I don't really get bad comments because this is a small channel but it, I love it so much like just helping people like because I used to do reviews and I used to think 
this is what lies and then I got bored of the reviews and then I was like I need to find something that I actually want to do and then people were like why are you doing mental health and I was like I've always wanted to do mental health but I'm so shy and now I'm doing it I'm just like oh my gosh you know the amount of comments that I've got that, is, that people have said you're such an amazing person so happy you spoke out I was like oh my gosh what like why didn't I do it sooner so yeah find an escape Find something that you like doing away from your friends, family. Just do it for yourself, do you know? And it, it can be a hobby. Like, I want to do roller skating. Um, I want to do photography. You can even do photography on your phone. You can, like, go out and take... You, another thing, if you don't, if you like photography but you're demotivated to go out, to do an incentive, like, you're going to go out and take nice pictures around the park, like, of flowers and dogs and, you know, trees. Like, I like... I like photography, but I want to get into it more. Like, I want to take my camera out and take nice pictures. Like, my dad likes bird watching, so one day I was saying to my dad, I can take pictures of the birds and we can bird watch, or take pictures of nature and we can bird watch. Um, so that's uh, one thing on my hit list to do. But find an escape um, away from your friends and family. Like, yeah, roller skating, photography. I want to start, I'm going to go to a concert soon by myself, hopefully, if I get the ticket. Um, just little things that you want to do for yourself, you know, you don't have to do it with other people. Like, so YouTube is my one. Um, yeah, like I said, and it's really helped me to get out of my comfort zone and actually just talk. Because I used to be such a shy person and gaining and rebuilding my confidence took a lot. Like, because when I built my confidence, I started to get bullied. And when I got bullied and then I, and then I stopped getting bullied, I still was like less confident. I was like, you know what? Let me start a YouTube channel because this is going to be fun. I'm going to be like, I'm going to get paid like Patricia Bright, but I never did. Um, I mean, I didn't, even, I didn't even do it to try and get paid. Like, I did it literally for fun. Um, and I just thought people did it for free, to be honest. And then people started telling me they get paid. And I was like, okay. Um, so if I get to the point where I start getting paid for something that I love, like, why not? But, um... Yeah, so find an escape that would make you happy and away from your normal life because it can be so freeing, like, for meeting new people and making new friends in places that you love and where you love to be. Do you know what I mean? And I would actually go to a lot of events by myself if I could, like, go into part. But going to parties by yourself, is, you have to have a different level of confidence for that. I've done it before. I didn't, I enjoyed it, but I didn't really enjoy it because... Um, with me, with dancing, I can't dance, <laughs> so with dancing it's a bit hard, but um, the only thing I would say is, if you can dance, just go clubbing, by <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to put anyone in danger, but go to parties, go to events, I would say, go to set events, because that was an event, it wasn't like a normal clubbing motive, it was an event. Um, what else? Um, you could... There's another thing I had on the tip of my tongue. You go to cinema by yourself. Concerts are always good. If no one's into the same music as you, and you just go to a concert and you're just like, yes, I'm here. I'm gonna, you know, because I actually want to go to a TLC concert and I want to get a VIP ticket so I can actually meet them and also see the concert. Because then it'll be like, it'll be like more worthwhile. And I'm only doing it because, um, well, I'm not only doing it because I do love them, but I'm also paying this amount of money because I, it's a milestone for me in my life um, getting this job straight um, almost straight away after getting out of hospital and it's a job that I really wanted as well and it's not my career but it's something that I work towards and I got and I'm really grateful and I thank God every day for it because imagine like coming out of hospital not knowing where you're going to get your next lot of money from you're going to all these interviews and then you're like, oh my gosh, I want to get this job. And then you finally get it and you're like, oh my god, thank god. Like, literally, like, it's, oh my gosh, like, it was, I was so grateful, like, honestly. So, yeah, what was I saying? Find an escape, literally find an escape, get out of your comfort zone and love, love what you do. Make sure you like this video, be sure to give me a comment. And yeah, I'm always down to like read DMs. DM me on Christina De Silva underscore. That's my Instagram name. Uh, it's in the bio. Uh, it's in the it's in the bio. It's in the description box. All my socials are in the description box. Tweet me, DM me on tweets or tweet me. Um, 
direct message me on Instagram, leave a comment. I love all that stuff. Like I'm always here. Like I'm such. I'm such a nice. I, I, let me not. I'm such a nice person. Like let me not blow my trumpet. No, I didn't mean that. I'm such like. I'm such a talkative person. I, I feel like I'm friendly as well. So like, you know. I'm not gonna, if you DM me, I'm not gonna be like, who are you? Like, I'm literally gonna be like, thank you so much for watching. How are you doing? Tell me about yourself. Love that. Like, just reach out to me. I love it so much. And if you're watching this, I love you too. And I'll see you soon. Bye.